It's now noon, and protesters descend on the first of two CEO homes. Okay, everybody, come on, we're going. Come on, come on, we're just going. Hey, we're fine. Wait, everybody, come on. The police are no match for hundreds of NACA protesters. Let's go see John Mack. That house right there. John Mack, he is the CEO of Morgan Stanley. They own Saxon Mortgage, and Saxon Mortgage services hundreds of thousands of mortgages, and they refuse to restructure those mortgages to make them affordable over the long term. They knocked on the door of Morgan Stanley CEO John Mack in Rye, New York. He never came out, but the message was clear. Why are we here? Can I stop these guys? This is John Mack's house. He has a net worth over $400 million. Look at his house. He gets lost in his own house. It's so outrageous. While Americans are losing their homes by the millions, he's living in a lap of luxury here in his beautiful house, isolated, and he thought he was safe. They see who we are now. They know who we are. They've seen who we are. They know who we are. It's almost like, take a look at me. I'm your problem now. I get a call on my cell phone 20 minutes later that we want to work this thing out. This is like the rise of the proletariat. We've seen this before historically, but certainly not recently in our country. Well, what it says is that we were disciplined and organized and we pierced that veil. We pierced that comfort level that they have. But $400 million buys them privacy. No longer.